Yeah. 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 I'm here with Hannah Hart. Hello. Also, welcome back to my channel. If you're not subscribed yet, you should subscribe. Ooh. Turn on notifications too. Ooh. I'm here with Hannah Hart, and I just found out that we have the same exact birthday. The same exact birthday. Like, not just the day. Like, I know a lot of other people that have November 2nd birthdays. Yeah, the Day of the Dead. It's a great birthday. Did it's you know Karamo from Queer Eye is also a November 2nd baby? I did not. You're like, wow, I wish he was here instead of you. <laughs> right? We're down to the same year, though. So, like, not just the same day, but November 2nd, 1986. Both Such a great year. Yeah. Really a great year. The challenge exploded. That's all I know about it. Maybe not such a great year. <laughs> we came out of our mother's vaginas at the same time. Do you know what time you were born? Yeah, 8 1 a.m. So I was born like 12 hours after you. You're like 12 hours older than me. Whoa. Does this change anything? We will find out. How was your birth? You know, it was great for me. I just came out. <laughs> it's probably a really good thing we don't remember being born. Yeah. I was born with the, the double nuchal cord, so you have your umbilical cord wrapped around your oh, neck. My brother was like that. Yeah, that was like me. Oh my gosh. I know. Did you come out blue? Yes, I did. I would need, I would See, it would be traumatizing if you remember that. You know, I was thinking, I have a podcast called Analyze This, uh, and it's a- the Plug it, thank plug you, it, thank you, get thank it. You. It's the self-help podcast that just can't help itself. Get the branding title. Gotta get it in there. <laughs> uh, I was thinking it'd be funny to do a video or like a podcast about uh, like rebirthing. Mm. You know, to see if like, cause people like do rebirthing shit in like the hippy dippy circles. Yeah. So I don't really know how, what we're gonna do today, but I wanted to find out are we unique? Are we special? Or is it just destiny and it was in the stars for us to have the same life? Cause when I'm reading like a horoscope, right? I'm like, does everybody that was born on this day run into a car? Whatever's gonna day, happen? Or whatever happens, All you know? Scorpios in general are affected in this way. Well, it kind of depends on like your whole birth chart, right? Cause there's your rising sign, your sun sign, and your moon sign. Those are like the triumvirate that really have an effect. See, I knew we were supposed to clash. I like to say that the study, if the universe is made of the same material that we are, which I think we can mostly agree on. So that's then, science. It's science right there. And the study of the stars is simply knowing what the universe was doing when it made it. Yeah, what kind of materials were falling from it when you're, you were born. Yeah. I it's, think it's so interesting and fascinating, especially when it's, so accurate, mm -hmm. like when I read ones that are so accurate, mm -hmm. and a lot of them are numerology ones. Whoa, and I don't know anything about numerology. It's more accurate. What? Yeah. I want to know my numerology. Oh, yeah. People think that this stuff is totally self-indulgent, like we're just a couple of grown women drinking wine in the middle of the afternoon talking about the stars. But we are so much more than so that. So much more. And I don't know if this is interesting for anyone that's not born on this day, but I just... But as Scorpio, <laughs> exactly. we believe you'll be interested no matter what. Totally think you're into this. Leave a like there, right there, buddy. I'm just winking a lot. We're the most sexual sign in the zodiac, so. Yep, we're the you best. We'll have a fat boner from that wink. <laughs> Yeah, so numerology, I if I was if we were just born on the same day, not the year, we would have a different life path number. Whoa. But because it's the exact same day on to the year, we have the same life path number. So everything that I've read in numerology that I'm like, that's so fucking freakishly accurate. I wonder if it's like that for you too. That's, because I'm dying to find out. Yeah. It's Eleven plus two, which so is that's, four. Um yeah, that's a four. And then plus one from nineteen eighty six. Oh. It is five, right? And then plus nine. Math videos do really well on YouTube. I heard. Are you loving this? I am. I am. Okay. So since it's, since we have the same birthday and year, do you know our birth number? It is one. <gasps> yeah. Our life path number is one. It's the sun. It's really special. We're the leaders. Oh. We are independent. Doesn't being a leader make you feel so good. much pressure? Yeah. I just hide under. Here, the Here, I was saying this analogy the other day. It's like I'm on this big ship, and uh, everybody's got their jobs on the ship, and they're like, Hey, Hannah, your job is just to steer the ship. And I'm like, cool, cool, can someone else steer the ship? I'll do a different job. <laughs> and they're like, I mean, really all you gotta do is just pick any direction for the ship to go. And then I'm like, cool, cool. And then I just jump off the ship. <laughs> That's me. Wow, we really aren't unique. This is the first one that comes up for a life path number one. I'm ready. My phone's very slow. Oh, 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 it's cool. Oh. Is your phone slow? No. Okay. No. It's we are, we it's are unique. Yeah, we are unique. <laughs> and our choices. Destiny provides the path, but you choose to walk it. Wow, that is so deep. Can you quote that and make an Instagram post? But you choose to walk. You choose to walk it. People with life path number one have many ideas and are often quick to find solutions to problems. However, they do need proof that they are better than others. <laughs> they do. 
<laughs> they try to avoid those who don't approve of what they do. If they recognize their true energy, they can become their own authority. I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah. It is important, however, not to become too self-centered by trying to control others too much. If people with life path number one lose connection with the energy that is behind their life path number, they might experience lack of self-belief and self-confidence. Holy shit me. Wow. They know that they are always alone in this universe. <laughs> Wow, oh yeah, God, but this got dialogue. dark. Yeah, it's got quick. dark. It's got dark real fast. They can give an impulse in a relationship, but will not spend much energy on maintaining the feelings. Oh, I don't know uh, about that. Yeah, I'm yeah, you know what? That's our Scorpio side, though. Because here's the thing about Scorpios, guys. Here's the thing. Okay, people are always like, Scorpios, uh oh, watch out. And I'm like, this, dude, there is no more loyal. Sign. So fucking true. So loyal. Loyal to a fault. That's the number one. I was just talking to someone about this yesterday. That yeah. That's like my number one and I don't understand when it's not other people's number one. Yeah. When people aren't loyal and I'm loyal to them, I am like so baffled. Yeah. Cool. So we have that in common. We're both very loyal. Yeah. What do we know that we have in common? We're both on YouTube. Yep. We both have cooking formats, which I didn't plan on doing at yeah. all. I was like, I want to learn how to cook, cook, cook. Talk and about cook, but then it just turned into what it was. Both. Trick Nikki's time in the kitchen. Yeah, Trick Nikki's time in the kitchen. That's my that's my format. We have two cats. We both have two cats. Uh, we both like to wine, wine. We like we like to wine and we like to drink wine. Check it out, dick it out. Whoa. Check it out, dick it out. Check Are you in a long-term committed relationship? I am. So am I. What about like milestones? When did you lose when did you lose your virginity? Oh my god, I was way older. I was like 19. Okay, I was oldish for the people I was hanging out with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 16, but so, we had been dating for a year. Six upside down is a nine. There you go. Boom. When did you move to LA? 2008. Alright, I was 2012. Okay. But eight it is a uh, multiple four. of four and so it was 12. So it was 12. Boom, boom again. Thanks. Math videos, you love them. How about which, which crew did you roll with in high school? Like, I, I was kind of the universal crew. Me too. I just kind of like was, I, I, I was well liked and I liked everybody. I didn't really have any problems with anybody. I could kind of hang out with every group. Um, I feel that way now too. Yeah. Like with YouTube, like I know a lot of the different cliques, like I'm cool with everybody, but I don't feel like I have my own yeah. squad. Yeah, word. Yeah. I mean, I was on the yearbook in high school. I did the yearbook. Oh, nerd. And the journalism. <laughs> yeah, nerd. Big nerd right here. I, I'm even more of a loser though because I tried to be on yearbook and they were like, we're full. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What about siblings? One sibling, younger brother. Okay, I have two siblings. I'm in the middle. Are you the oldest? I'm oh, the middle, yeah. Middle. Middle child, yeah. Middle. Oh, how was that? Uh, you know, I'm uh, both very responsible and very needy. Me too, but I'm firstborn. I don't know what that's about. I feel like I was the middle cousin. <laughs> that must have been it. No? <laughs> yeah. There it is. So there it is. We're the same. That's it. Do you like salty or sweet? Yeah, I'm a salty person. I like salt. Oh, I like sweet more. Right, yeah. <laughs> like pancakes is my favorite food. Ooh, I'm a waffle girl. Oh, God. Yes. What is in our decans that's, <laughs> that's off? What, what house was your planet in? Well, what's your sun sign? Um, I, I will mine. tell you right now, I have our birth charts. Well, I have my birth chart, and I don't know if it's the same. Let's see, let's see. So, sun is your sun, Scorpio. Yeah, your sun is in Scorpio, your moon is in Scorpio, and your rising sign is Scorpio. So we are both triple Scorpios. Wow. What does it mean? So many different things. We're just har hardcore Scorpios. Major. Shockers. Yes. Your Mercury is in Scorpio, and your Venus is in Scorpio. I'm a fucking Scorpio to the core. I don't mess around. Man, you do not. But you got a bunch of Sagittarius too, which I also do. Which yeah. has, that made, that's what trick people into thinking we're social. <gasps> yes! <laughs> I'm not! Yeah. Surprise! Would you call yourself an introvert or an extrovert? An introvert because I charge by being alone. Word, same. I would call myself also, I'm an, I have an extroverted personality in that when I'm in a room with other people, I have no choice but to be incredibly aware of everyone else in the room. But I feel relaxed when I'm alone. Yeah. Extroverts can feel alone in a room. Like they can be like, I'm just chilling. I'm not really worried about what you're doing. Whereas I'm always like, so what are you up to? <laughs> you're like hyper aware. All the anxiety is I'm here. I'm like, haha, I've noticed that you're in my house. Yeah. Are you happy? <laughs> Do you like me? I offered her three. Please like me. I gave, I'm like iced tea, seltzer, wine. I took all of them. I was like, I don't want to be rude. All, please. Cool, yes. Yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever taken those like personality tests that are like those uh, ENFJ, those Jung, yeah, mm -hmm. Myers Briggs. So, so what did you get? You got ENFJ. I got INFJ. I think I got INTJ. 
But yeah. then I took it again and it was ENTJ. So I think I'm like borderline introvert expert. Extrovert. extrovert. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, border I'm borderline uh, thinker feeler. This is some really coded language, everybody. Don't you love math? This video is called We Love Math. Love Math. Clickbait. Uh, what sign is your partner? Virgo. Ooh. Who also really like loyalty. Like yeah. That's like. They're very stable. I love me some Virgos. Yeah. A lot of my best friends are Virgos. Yes, me too. My partner is a Libra. Okay, which they're pretty balanced. They're pretty balanced. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> most Libras I know aren't balanced. Hold on one sec. Sorry, we're so cute. Stop mocking no, at us. This is harassment. Okay, is math a good subject for you in school? Math, you know, is an emotionally laden subject for me in school. Okay. Yeah. It shouldn't be, it's just formulas. <laughs> I was always good at languages. Okay. Like languages, like foreign languages? Yeah. Or like, like English? Both. I was really good at English. I was good at both. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, languages are just formulas. <laughs> That's, you yeah, true. You yeah, true. You yeah, true. Cabin or beach? Beach. Beach. But I, but I love a cabin. Do you like, um, Fitness? Do you exercise? I have a love-hate relationship, but yes, I yeah. do love fitness. I hated it in high school so much that I would say I was on my period every time we were running the mile, and I never ran the mile. And then one time I bought Heelys, those shoes with the, with the wheels on them that look like normal shoes <gasps> until you like roll on them. I used that to run the mile one time. <laughs> that is genius. That's literally genius. Thank you. Yeah. I uh, never ran a mile less than 10 minutes. You know what I always say? Built for comfort, not for speed. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. It's a good brand. Yeah, I feel like you're the sun Scorpio and I'm the moon Scorpio because you're all like tan and like radiating and I'm all like pale. Blue eyes. Yeah. And, and I'm like nighttime. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. do, I, do you sleep at night? Yes. Mm, I'm, I'm big in insomnia. I love sleep. Oh my gosh, so opposite. <laughs> I fall asleep in restaurants. I fall asleep at concerts. At a certain hour, if my body's like, we're out, I just Fall asleep? Really? I find daytime to be a very sleepy time of day for me. Really? Yeah, but I'm a morning person. I'm a night person. Not the same person. Oh my god, you guys. I'm Actually, I feel really good about this. Are you bossy? I say no, everyone else says yes. Uh, are you self-aware? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty bossy. I tried having a slut phase one time for like eight months because it was the only time I was single because I'm a serial monogamist. Yeah. And I didn't like it. I really, I, I, I want so badly. I'm a flirt. Yeah, big time flirt. Not a player though. I feel too responsible for the other party. Mm -hmm. I've had a couple one night stands, but I've always just left being like, are you okay? <laughs> do you want to go to breakfast? Just, I don't, I don't anything, want to, but, but do you want yeah. to? Cause I will do it out of guilt. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. We're people pleasers to a fault. Yes. Yeah. That's something that I've really had to work on in the past couple of years. Do you have this? You can become a workaholic, not so much because you have lofty ambitions, but because you never feel like you've done enough. You can get overly involved in self-improvement or your health, and you tend to be a bit of a hypochondriac. I'm such Dude. a hypochondriac. Dude! Yeah? Same. Oh my god. Whoa! This is freaky! Yeah! That is literally me. Right? Oh, your work habits may be unstructured, and you may find it difficult to settle down to a, a task or a routine. Yeah, man! 100%. But I beat myself up about it all the time. Like, I just, like, I want to be consistent. But I just can't. Like today I was supposed to put up a video and I was like, mm, but I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, but I have one thing on my god. Yeah. Yesterday I was supposed to edit it and then I started building furniture and I was like, well, <laughs> ain't gotta. Are you joking? No. I literally build furniture. What? Procrastinate editing. Me too. I no, this love is... building furniture. Dude, I built that. What? Yeah. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah. I have four videos in the bank to edit. Two day, all sorts of it. I have so much stuff banked. Like, what can like, I put together today? And I just can't stand the side of my own face. I just Same. am so unamused. And my voice, literally. Same. Ugh. But that's so funny though. Yeah. That you procrastinate by building furniture. Yeah. I call it productive procrastination. I'm like, well, I needed to build that. Yeah. And then somebody says, did you need to build it today? And I'm like, fuck you. How's your relationship with authority? Great. <laughs> I got a speeding ticket the other day, and I was like. I was going the same speed as that person. Why didn't you give that person the ticket? And he's like, ma'am, you were still speeding. And I was yeah. like, but it's not fair. Do you have a thing with fairness? Do you have a thing with fairness? Oh, I have a thing with fairness and accuracy. Yes. When people say something like, oh yeah, I'll bring a couple friends, and then they bring five. I'm like, couple is two, <laughs> a few is three, some is more than that. So you brought some friends, <laughs> not a couple. You know, a couple minutes late, 30 minutes, 
Not a couple. That's not a couple. That's not a couple. Do you have a thing with uh, tardiness or being prompt? Yeah, being punctual. I would rather cancel something than be late to it. Same. Yeah. I was actually here like five minutes early, early. Yeah. and I was like, I'm, I'm just, just gonna, gonna wait, wait in my car because I don't want to be a nerd. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're blowing my mind. Early is on time, on time, on time is, late, is late, and, yes. late, and late is canceled. Yes, yes. nobody gets that. I'm, I'm like, why do you think the airplane was let you on, huh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm in the airplane. How many similarities have we had? Do some math, leave a comment, we put it in math. there. I feel like it comes down to this. We have aspects of ourselves and the circumstances of our lives that all come together to make the mosaic of, of meanness that we have. That's so poetic. And then what we do is, choose what pieces of that mosaic to you know dust off to clean up mm -hmm. what pieces to get rid of what pieces to keep and those are the choices we make in our lives sweep it under the couch sweep, sweep it under it the rug. rug let's go back to bed yeah and i hate bed but i love it i love bed when i want to be there i'm always just like wow reddit i know tell me about it tell me about it tell me about it i went more sexual but reddit's cool too <laughs> oh yeah yeah. Do you like sex? I love sex. I didn't think I did before. Everyone's like, Scorpios are a sex sign. You know, you love sex so much, you're obsessed. And I'm like, oh, what are you talking about? Sex is like, whatever, it's mediocre. But then I had really good sex. And I was like, oh shit, I do love sex. I'm like obsessed with it and I crave it all the time. But I didn't know that there was craveable sex out there. Yeah, man. It's so out there. If there's anything you take away from this video and experience, Find that craveable sex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, subscribe so you don't miss any of this and go check out Hannah's video. We did a video on her channel where we explored a cat mystery box and found out what kind of influencers her cats will be. We determined the destiny of my cats. It was a crazy time. Maybe it was in the stars for them. <gasps> you don't know. I know their birthdays. Nikki, thank you so much for having me. And yeah, thanks thank for you being guys. here. Yeah, thanks you for wanna watching. wrap it up? Yeah, yeah, you know I'll just take care of this. Hey guys, this is Nikki Limo, she's great. Uh, I always say Nikki Limo, I'm Hannah Hart. That's also my name. Yeah. Check out our video on my channel. And uh, bye! bye. <laughs>